I've been in New Zealand for 15 years, and before that I was a lawyer 100% of the time in the UK. And I worked with public company boards for my pretty much my whole career. And uh, I noticed there were some interesting behaviours at board meetings, even at the very senior level. So I picked out three behaviours. The first one was that barely present director. So this was the board member who used to sleep and snore during the board meetings. And we put this bear on his seat one day. I'm not quite sure how he got away with it, but we did. So that was the first one. And then we had another director who would be diving deep into the detail all the time and uh, driving the management crazy. And then a final director is the one who was so efficient and so organized that he just wanted to race through everything um, but bring no wisdom to the table. So I moved to New Zealand 15 years ago and set up a law firm along with all the other activities I run. And one of the things I did was to take on an investment and a directorship in a, an SME. So Guide Tools Agility is a cloud-based e-learning business. And mindful of all of the experiences I've seen from the UK about governance, I needed to make sure that I was following best practice of governance without being swamped, but in the context of a very small New Zealand business where we had executive directors and I was the non-exec shareholder. So um, there are thousands and thousands of pages written about governance, and particularly in the last year since all of the global financial, last couple of years over the global financial crisis, even more than there's ever been before. So I've been looking at qualities of a successful director, what governance is, and what it's not. And I really like this particular quote, which is the <coughs> brains on, not hands on, of a board member. And what it's not, and this is a quote from the guy who used to be in charge of rugby. So I've been looking at research on what good governance is, and I picked two models which I really liked. Um, but they're pretty dry and boring, and I thought if you presented this to the average um, SME in New Zealand, they glaze over, including me. So I was looking at something I could develop that would work for me as a director of an SME, and then one that I could start sharing with my clients, because I see a progression of companies in pain coming through my office. So now what I do in New Zealand when I'm not practicing law or being in conferences is uh, I am Tony Bizan's senior mind mapping instructor. And so I've spent the last eight years learning about the way we think, the communicate, how the brain works, how we take in information. And so as part of my master's thesis for my uh, master's of management, I did a lot of work around meetings and meetings of the mind. And over the last couple of years, I've also been doing a lot of work around thought leadership and how to get through to more of the people more of the time. So what I'm going to share with you now is the most unlawyery thing you're ever going to see. And it's best practice on one piece of paper in one picture. So what I was trying to achieve for myself was how do I keep that discipline there of not messing with the executive and the operations. And so what you'll see here is the, the management are in the garden growing the business. The directors are allowed to walk up the path, but once they've gone up the path and gone through the door, um, that's them in the house looking out on where the, the, uh, the business is growing. So for me, that was a good, strong, brain-driven, one picture, one analogy, a really strong metaphor that was going to work for me. So I'm just going to give you a little insight of how the model works and how the best practice sits. So we've got four rooms in this house and a front door. And uh, so you come in at the checking in space. And this is where we need directors. And I know um, I'm a chatter. What you need is to find a way to get the chatter done and gone. And then there's four rooms in the house. So we've got on the ground floor deliberately oversight and foundations rooms. And then upstairs, looking further out, the governance role of looking at the horizon and at wisdom. So checking in. So really what we're looking for is the, to find a way for directors to be fully present, and me personally, fully present in the board meeting and not distracted. 
And when you're running lots of activities at the same time, it's a really important thing to be able to do. So we, I will show you later on a brain function graph that this all runs around about how you keep people's focus and their best brain crunching going at the time. So first room we'd go into then is foundations. So this is the, how do you provide the foundations for the guys in the garden? So they need lawn mowers, they need money for assets and equipment. They should be developing their, their own organizational policies, but the board should be approving them. They need a CEO, and then you should be evaluating and developing. But this is about giving those guys in the garden what they need to grow the business. Next one is the oversight room. So in the oversight room, this is the fiduciary, looking at the accounts, considering results, and looking at legal and risk management. And then you go upstairs and you're into the wisdom up here. So again, big picture of the organization. This is what people are buying directors for. This is what they want me for in guide tools, is the wisdom I bring from all the other things I do in business. And then the final room is the horizon business. So this is, again, about that value that directors bring of being able to see far into the distance and helping businesses develop. So I, um, I'm very hot on paperwork from uh, supporting the governance structure. And um, so we've got a rewrite on design and meetings. We structure all the meetings so that you give your brain a, an appropriate break so you can be fully present and attentive when you need to be. So success with it, Guide Tools is now in its 12th year as a SME in New Zealand, far too ahead of its time for providing cloud-based e-learning when the rest of the world was clunking along with an install. Um, we have a great relationship as a team because I do my role and they do their role. And I've now started to evolve this out to other organizations. So um, the foster care organization in um, Wellington has been using it. I've got other not-for-profits starting to use it. And it's evolving constantly. So what we see today is, is different from what it looked like and it was a pretty boring looking house a couple of weeks ago. So it was great to have a, an impetus to develop it a little bit further. So that's my summary of the best practice way to do governance. One piece of paper, one picture, perfect for New Zealand SMEs. Okay, thank you. Thank you.